throttle cable. I'm gonna put this on the go-kart and then we're gonna ride the go-kart. There's the go-kart it's going on and I've got this bad setup where you push on this bad boy which moves the big pole which then moves this back and forth. I can't feel it. Oh, it pushes it, you see, and moves this. Bad system, not good, so I'm just gonna take this off, probably cut this down a little, and then attach a throttle cable to it, so yeah. So after I took the old system off, um, I measured some things to get everything set up. You can basically measure whatever you want because I'm honestly not going to use the numbers. I'm just going to make things up. Then once you've made up a number you like and you mark it on the piece of metal, you don't mark it, you just cut it anyway. You, um, you cut that and then you realize that you don't want it at a 90 and you shouldn't have cut it at a 90 and that's not going to work. So then you fix it and you cut it normally. Only after the precise measurements have been made, then you can tack it together. And then you take this piece, and the throttle cable needs to go through that piece of metal. And in order to do that, you have to drill a hole. Um, this drill bit is a little bit too small, obviously. Can't use that. So then you get the bigger one out. But even with the bigger one, you need to use the smaller one first as a pilot hole. Now that that piece has holes in it, you can then tack it down. And look at that, we now have a mount for our throttle cable that will be mounted at the back near the engine. Then I just grinded away the paint and I welded the little, what do you call it? mount thing to the frame. I probably should have grinded away the paint though because I smell it and it, don't do that, but yeah. Oh, Dad, you are gonna love this whole setup. This is, it's, it'll be consistent, but it's definitely not the right way to do it. So we'll start back here, okay? So I welded this like T-shaped figure on, right? So it's solid. And then obviously the throttle cable comes in through here. It bolts on to this little extra piece right here and it's just a hole drilled through the throttle so when you pull the throttle cable obviously when you hit the gas it goes okay follow the throttle cable up here this one's good so i did some thinking and i couldn't figure out how to attach the just cable to this so it's just it's literally just a bolt running through and then some washers and the cable is just pinched in between the washers and it's not going anywhere because it's got a lock washer and a locking nut. Um, that cable will never come loose. And then this, I'm gonna weld solid onto here. And that's what this piece will slide into. You see that? See that? And then, boom. That will be the whole setup. And then we're gonna have a functioning probably consistent go-kart probably all right so that's been welded down so it can't push that way but the problem i'm having is when the throttle comes back there's going to be a spring so that the throttle returns see how this part right here falls out of the metal piece so the only way to fix that is obviously a zip Finished! Dope. Oh, I gotta cut that, but done! Done! Ooh, that sounds up high. Alright. Cool! Cool! Easy.
Almost three months ago was the start date for this project. Three months. I built a go-kart in three months. It's not too bad. Um, there was obviously a lot of problems, but I mean, look. You probably can't see it from this angle, huh? Look. Look at that thing. Look at that. There's a go-kart right there. And it runs. Well, uh, is it sketchy? It's super sketchy, but it was a lot of fun to build. I had a really good time building it. Probably not the last video you'll ever see on it because I might do some things with the engine. I don't know. For now, I'm going to ride it around, have fun. But the build was a really good time, and I'm really glad I did that. Hey, <laughs> 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 